Hello friends, welcome to you. In this video, we are going to see how to fix missing printer properties of any printer. Example as HP printer, Canon, Epson. If you have any printer of any manufacturer or any model number and you have this error, missing printer properties, then I give the simple solution and it's work on the all Windows operating system, Windows 11, Windows 10, 7, 8, 8.1. If you have any printer and any Windows operating system and this error, then I give the solution. So let's go to our video. First, we check the our error. I go to the any app or any software. I'm going to the Photoshop and I open file and go to the files and go to the print or control P. And in printer, in printer list, I select my printer. I have problem with this printer, Canon MF3010. Select that printer, select your problem printer and then go to the printer properties or printer settings sorry in printer settings here we find printer properties are missing here we find there is no printer properties in this printer there are many printer properties but it's these printer properties are missing and we are going to solve this problem and i give the two solution in a one single method first solution is go to the add a printer and device and add your printer by windows updating update windows and update your printer and second and reliable way is go to the official website of the printer download the our drivers and reinstall that drivers or update that drivers to the your printer and your problem is solved this is the two methods to solve this printer solve this uh, error minimize it or close it i close it and go to the my PC, this PC, first we check our machine is 32 bit or 64 bit. Windows 11 is always 64 bit. But if you using Windows 10, 7 or 8, you have to check your Windows bit. Go to the, this PC or computer. Go to the properties, right click on it and go to the properties. In properties, find system type. If system type is 64 bit, then that machine is 64 bit. If system type is 32 bit, then that machine is 32 bit operating system machine. This machine is 64 bit operating system machine. Close it. After that, go to the any web browser that you like. I'm going to the Google Chrome. If you're using Canon printer, then type at here Canon printer driver and hit enter key and open this first link driver software and framework. If you're using HP printer, then type HP printer driver and hit enter key and go to the official site of the HP. Open that official site and add your printer name at here and download the our printer driver. And if you're using Epson printer driver, type some Epson printer driver and hit enter key and open the first link, open the first link and here we find printer and here we find search by product name, add your printer name and search for the your printer. In my case, I am using Canon printer. So I go to the Canon printer and open the first link and type Canon printer driver and hit enter key and open the first link. And here we find Canon official website. I am searched by the by keywords or by products. I prefer to go to the by products. I go to the by products. And in this case, add product range, product category or the product series. series. I'm adding my printer name. So add your printer name. This is the simplest and best way. 3010. My printer name is MF3010. Add your printer name. Click at here. And here we find driver. It directly goes to the drivers when you click on that link. And here we find operating system. If it's not detect your operating system, right? Then click at here and go to your operating system. If it's Windows 10 32 bit, then go to the plain Windows 10. If it's Windows 10 64 bit, then go to the 64 bit. Same thing with the Windows 8, 9 and 10. And if you not find appropriate drivers for the 8, 7, then go to the next drivers. If 64 bit, then go to the 64 bit drivers. If 32 bit, then go to the 32 bit. Windows 8 plain 32 bit, Windows 8 64 bit. Same thing with the Windows 7, Windows 7 plain 32 bit, Windows 7 x64 30, 64 bit. I am going to the Windows 11. I am using Windows 11. So I select Windows 11. If you're using Windows 10, then go to the Windows 10 64 bit or 32 bit. Select that, click on the search. It's search for the, your drivers. It takes few seconds. And your new drivers are appear on our screen. Scroll down and here we find first link printer driver. Select that printer driver. Click on the download. 
it's redirect to the another page and download is completed in few seconds in your case it's take me time click at here show in a folder go to the downloads and go to the show in folder drag this set of file to desktop close it here we find a driver set of file this driver set of file actually a zip file right click on it click on show more options click on the extract files click on the ok it's extract your files and new folder is created on the desktop double click on it here we find new folder click on the driver basically all drivers are in the drivers folder and if it's not in a drivers folder then folder then check it in this all files okay close it next step is install or reinstall our drivers click on the start type printers and scanners click on the printers and scanners and if you using windows 10 windows 7 8 or 8.1 then go to the start type control panel in control panel find devices and printers click on the devices and printers and there we find your printer and go to the printer properties from there if you using windows 7 or 8 in this case go to the your printer in my case my printer name is this so go to the, your printer name click on click on the your printer name and here we find printer properties click on the printer properties close it here we find printer properties here go to the advanced click on the advanced in advanced we find new driver click on the new driver click on the next here we find windows update our first option is windows update if you using windows update make sure your, your internet is on click on the windows update and it's take 5 to 20 minutes it's take 5 to 20 minutes update for update and after that your new list is appear from this list select your manufacturer canon ipson hp if any ipson printer then go to the ipson canon then canon in canon list or the hp list or the ipson list find your printer name in my case my printer name is canon mf3010 select the printer if you find the latest version go with the latest version this is the latest version canon mf3010 then select the latest version of the your printer and click on the next 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 and reinstall that drivers this is our first way if it is not work then go to the our last but the most reliable way most reliable way is go to have a digs go to the browse go to the desktop go to the our newly extracted folder double click on it click on the driver click on the our driver select these drivers from the, this list or go to the driver and select our drivers if you find three or four multiple files select any file that you like all files as the same printer driver click on the open click on the ok here we find many printers or the single file printer if you find multiple printers select your appropriate printer if you find the series of that printer then select that series of that printer here we find my printer name so i select my printer name click on the next click on the finish click on the apply click on the ok next step is check our printer is properly reinstalled or not go to the start click on the any app or software open any app or software open the file open the printer go to the file control p or print here we find our printer select the our printer in this case this is the my printer select your printer go to the printer settings and here we find our all printer properties are appear on our screen our all dc appear printer properties are now showing on our pc or laptop in any windows pc or laptop so guys this is the simplest way to fix this problem on windows pc or laptop so guys thank you for watching this video don't forget to like share comment on this video and don't forget to subscribe the channel thank you guys